we're going to do a notice and wonder routine. And for this routine, um, you won't actually need to be in the Google Slides for it. You're welcome to just come over to our teleconferencing tool because we're going to use the chat box a lot here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and display our image. Um, and this routine is called um, Notice and Wonder, and this is how you could do it in an online setting. I'm going to ask you to take a look at this photo and um, type in the chat box the word notice first and then your response or wonder and your response. And that's how we'll code what you're noticing and wondering here. Go ahead and use the chat box. Very cool. I'm going to start asking a couple of folks to um, share with us what they uh, put there. Um, Laura, you said that you noticed. Um, can you share with us what you had written? Hi, good morning. I was noticing, I was trying to quickly count, I noticed 14 people and one dog and I was trying to see if there were any other um, friendly pet faces in the picture. Awesome. Whoops, I put that in the wrong spot. Um, and so you were able to um, see all of the people there, and you even mentioned like the one little doggy too. Um, uh, Patty, you said you wondered if they're celebrating something. What do you think they might be celebrating? Um, I'm thinking possibly, I really don't know, could be a birthday, I'm trying to see if one of the family members are holding something. I can't really tell what that is, but um, not sure. Could be a family birthday. Yeah, I like how um, when you said you weren't sure, you also had some assumptions. You said family, and so it's really neat that um, you were able to bring that out also. Becky, can you tell us a little bit about why you think that you see people of all ages? What are your cues? Well, there's kids and there's people with white hair and there's and anyone else what do you think the minimum age is or the maximum age feel free to put that in there I'm kind of curious on the um, the age side of it One of our early responders, uh, Naomi, can you tell us um, what makes you think of multiple generations? Um, because I see kids and then I see it looks like teenagers and then it looks like maybe like parents age of the kids. And then I see older people with, um, you know, gray hair, which says to me maybe that they are the parents of the parents of the kids. Wonderful. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Matoko, can you um, let me know if I'm saying your name correctly and tell us um, why do you um, wonder the reason for their gathering? What do you think it might be? Oh, I just wonder why they uh, get together. They need a like, special event that family usually have or any like, specific celebration. I just wonder. Oh, very nice. Um, Janine, uh, tell us more about um, if they're relatives or friends. Have you had group photos together like this um, with relatives and also friends? Um, yes, I have. Um, I've, I've had both. So I, they could just be some neighborhood friends that came over. Maybe they're celebrating the first time they've seen each other after quarantine. Um, so it could be friends or it could be relatives. Wonderful. So there's there's a lot of unknowns here. We can make some uh, yeah. assumptions, but some unknowns. Uh, Liz, you had a really fun question there since we talked about pets in the beginning. Um, tell us about uh, what you had written about the pet. Um, I was wondering if that was the only pet 
and he looks very comfortable on that on the gentleman's lap. So he's almost in a reclined, relaxed position. So it looks like it's his pet. Ah, oh, yes, that pet looks very happy. And mm -hmm. Naomi, um, what about? It looks like you were looking at males and females. Can you tell us a little bit about your thinking there? Um, I didn't count specifically, but. I was thinking that there was, now when I go back, I might revise my thinking. It looks like maybe there's more females than there are males. Um, I forgot what I wrote, but um, definitely I'm thinking now since there's a 14 in the picture, but I think there are more females than males because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, Oh, wait, yeah. So it looks like, no, I take it back. I think there's like an even number of females and males because I'm seeing um, the grandfather sitting next to the little girl and that first row is males. And then, so I think it's almost an even number. I, I didn't really count, but just looking at it just as an estimate, it looked like there was an even number of females and males. Neat. So here we're, we're talking about even numbers. We're um, starting to group and categorize. And Dana, you found another way of grouping and categorizing. Um, can you share with us what you were thinking in your notice? Yeah, for some reason, the colors really jumped out at me. And um, the blue jumped out at first, and I really like blue. And then I noticed that the, uh, the two pinks seemed to really catch my attention. So I don't know if everybody else is maybe in neutral, more neutral colors or what, but um, the pink seemed to really pop. And you know, hypothetically speaking here, we had just had our fractions unit. So if you were to write a fraction that showed the number of people wearing pink versus the entire photo, what would your fraction be? And what would you define as your whole? Go ahead and put that in the chat box and that'll end our uh, little routine here. Make sure you define your whole. Ooh, Raha has 11 out of 14 neutrals. Nice. Let's see how many other things we can get here. It looks like for many people, we're defining the whole as the whole group. But are we talking the whole group of living beings? Or are we talking the whole group of humans? Um, looks like Karen is being a little more specific with people. So is Colette. Awesome. All right, folks, so this is how I might choose to do a notice and wonder. Um, in some cases, we can even grab these little speech bubbles and bring them right to the person that we're talking about. Um, we can even uh, duplicate a shape and um, put multiple of these little uh, speech bubbles going up to two different people. So I just wanted to showcase um, how you might, whoopsie daisies, how you might choose to do a notice and wonder in the online setting um, because, you know, we're not there face to face. So hopefully you got some neat strategies from that. And I'm really excited to see how you take this and modify it and change it in your class. So please, please um, do it. Like, use this and um, let us know a better way of doing it and alternate ways.